and I'm doing it for my daughter. I wish I was enough of an adult to understand anything. Like, I'm just like, I, I have like my health and honors points that I just started getting, and I have my United credit card that I think gets me double miles. Uh, that's what I just said is the extent of my understanding of finance. That's <laughs> those words, that <laughs> sentence that I just yeah, said, yeah. that's as far as it goes. So you have the base of the pyramid. I got a United gateway card. You have the groundwork laid for a <laughs> better doggy. Billion the, the future, the trillion. The future yeah. is looking bright. The yeah. Future, the future's <laughs> unlimited. Marry yeah. a Bonvoy. Yeah. Points that's in the that's on the horizon. No, I have my Bonvoy points, but I just got my Bonvoy points. The, yeah. They 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 put me up in some Marriott, and I was like, they were like, do you want to sign up? And I was like, get the fuck out of my face. And then I was like, no, no, wait. Yeah, I was no. like, I've been a Hilton guy for a little while. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> yes. Two Indian guys. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you say yes, like there he is with this off. <laughs> yes. I was like, I do want to sign up for these bond boy points. <laughs> oh. And now I'm just stuck because my ADD, I'm stuck in the place of actually signing into the account and activating the points and all that uh -huh. shit. And that'll be two yeah. years before I get there. <laughs> but I will. You're going to be buying hotels for the whole, I mean, God, you must have, uh, Sk Skank Fest, when every time we, well, you, thank you so much for having us help. Every time we're out, we have to look at, like, I'd look at you and I'd be like, I can't even imagine this guy standing up right now. I would be so spun. Yeah. Like so spun out, just everything going on. It's a lot. It's t too much. Yeah, it's, it's not. So uh, it's not like because um, everyone like comes for like vacation um, to Skankfest, but for me, it's like Bye. the most I ever work. Period. Just fucking, just a show every two hours and just shaking hands and you know, part of the experience is people want to like talk shit with you and fucking take pictures and yeah. you know. So I, I make myself as available as possible for people, and it's just fucking, mm. it's a lot. Well, th thank you so much for bringing us. I mean, that's honestly the no, reason. Thanks for doing it, dude. That's you guys really the, the reason why we're no. doing, st like, that started us doing stand-up here is that's you awesome. bringing us out. We, yeah. we probably wouldn't be, no. I don't think we'd be doing this. Really bringing us out of that first That's time. fucking amazing, thank dude. Thank you so you, much. You guys are hilarious, and the fans loved you, and it was an honor for you guys to debut your, your um, short film with us. And it was fucking, I, I mean, like, really cool. It was great synergy, and our audience loves you, and we're not announcing anything just yet for this next upcoming Skankfest, but we do hope that you guys will. We're we coming. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're, we're yeah well, we, we haven't announced it yet. Just no, yet. right. Yeah. Also, if you guys, Skankfest is worth going to Vegas yeah. for. If you guys. It's the best. It's wild. Like comedy, get tickets, go to Skankfest. It's really worth yeah, it. Yeah, they go on sale April 20th. And we're what announcing. is it, three days? Three days, yeah. There's a kickoff party on the Thursday, but the the tickets that go on sale on April twentieth are the all access passes for three days. One hundred and seventy five comedians, and it's really a good time. And you get to see all these comedians that you like up close. Yeah, it's, it's a different cool. experience. It and, is and, intimate, and it's also like you know, because people are like they're, they're like, oh, I don't want to bother. The it's like no, no, no. If you see a comic yeah, hanging out in a hallway, walking around, yeah, they, we have green rooms. We can go back to our hotel room. If you see people walking around, take a picture, shake hands. That's what the the experience is for. People love. The, the comics love it. They, every comic gets to feel like they're fucking Bono for fucking one yes. weekend a year. It's like truly, really cool. So um, I did. I felt like a corny, <laughs> like a true religion jeans. Yeah, dude. Bono. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I, no, but it was it was like a. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you guys a few tickets to give out on the show to the fans if you guys want to do some oh, giveaways or whatever, dude. You guys are the shit, man. That's Please. Uh, the, the the size of the van. I remember when I was like backstage, and I was looking at like the water, and it was giving me like a fucking anxiety attack. I was like. <laughs> How does he even get it here? Like, <laughs> oh, like the, the crates like, of is water? Is it here when they drop yeah. the pallets off? Like, Dude, who's I, in charge The of first that time shit? it was really big was Houston. We did it, and this is like, it was like half the size that it is now. Mm -hmm. But I remember I walked back. They were building the stage, you know, big jumbotron screen and speakers. And I walked back there and some fucking Mexican dude comes up to me. He's like, hey, you can't be back here. And it was like, it was just really like wild. I was like, that guy works for a guy that was hired by a guy that was hired by me. And he doesn't even know who the fuck, I, and he shouldn't. I was, I wasn't, I wasn't like mad or indignant. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, yo, this guy's doing his fucking job. I was like, that's wild. Undercover yeah. boss. That there was so many like layers that this guy was like building something that I had no idea how it even got there. Like whatever it was, yeah. It, you know, my partners do they do like I think of shit, and then my partners literally make it happen. And my my partners are Rebecca Trent, who owns a creek in the cave mm -hmm. in in um, Austin, Texas, and then Christine Evans, who is um, Big J Okerson's essentially wife. She's a producer on the Bonfire on Sirius XM, and those girls fucking make it happen mm. so no shit yeah i mean there's the only two women that aren't stupid that i've ever met mm. yeah 
Yeah. Good for you. I haven't met one yet. Yeah. And I'm married. <laughs> yeah. how, how many uh, right. skank fest? How many iterations have you done of skank fest? We did uh, three in New York, one in Houston. This is our third in um, Vegas. So this is our seventh one. Whoa! Oh, wow. Yeah, we skipped one year during the pandemic. Um, yeah, that was uh-huh. that's impressive. You Vegas? Oh, you can't. No, we we skipped Houston. Oh no, we're in Vegas this year. Yeah, yeah. 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 But we skipped Houston during the pandemic. We had to push it back. We dude, it was literally two weeks before it happened. It was it was March like fifteenth. That was the weekend. Yeah. Uh, or or no no maybe the first weekend of March it was happening in Houston. Uh-huh. And like we went out to do final preparations, and they were like they're shutting everything down. I was like they're not going to shut down Texas. Texas will is immovable. We didn't give a fuck to. We were ready. Yeah. Uh, day one, I was like, dude, this this is not real. It's not real. It had nothing to do with any, like, no research. I was simply just wanting my festival to happen. Yeah, so the, willing it. Like, day one, I was like, dude, it's not real. It's going to be over in fucking two weeks. Bullshit. Fucking down with... Yeah. Here we're two years later. Yeah, no fucking shit in Houston. Where'd you do it in Houston? Uh, we did it... Uh, there's a place called The Secret Group. So we took over the club. There was a venue attached to the club as well that wasn't even a venue. It was like... Um, the, it was supposed to be a giant axe-throwing facility that they shut down during the... Um, so we ended up renovating it, pumping in like air conditioning, stage lighting, everything. So we had a big stage there and then the parking lot. So we shut down the streets all around the venue and it wrapped all around. You go four different stages um, and it was just, you know, it was like a street fair vibe, like food trucks. Yeah. Really cool. Really mm. cool. But nothing will be that. Dude, Vegas is like Fremont Street as well. It's like just you get out at midnight, one o'clock in the morning out, out of the shows and it's just getting started on Fremont Street. Yeah. It's wild. Yeah. It's real wild. We were yeah. taking the fucking bike trolleys at a strip club with the fucking, it was really <laughs> yeah. funny. Like, there was just so much funny shit going you on. You guys got to host one of the strip club parties this year. This next one, yeah. are you, is it going to be the same venue? Same venue. Same area. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Same venue. Were the strip clubs fun? Uh, Yeah, they were funny. They were funny. Yeah. Hell yeah. We're mm. It's been yeah. fun. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming out. You guys are the hey, best. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank no, you. Love Absolutely. you guys. You're the best, man. Yeah, hopefully yeah. I'll see you guys at Skankfest. Can't you wait. Go, but we'll see what happens. I can't. We'll see, we'll see if you guys are invited. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, hopefully. Yo, it's like us. Me, help my and who daughter. Else? Actually, I'm sure you honestly, to be fair, to be fair, I think, actually, I'll talk about this later. Okay. But I feel like you're going to have fucking everybody there now. Because you guys have mo- wild names, and I was like, holy shit. The, yeah, the lineup's going to be the best one we've ever done. But it always is. Every year, the, there's, you know, certain people can make it, certain people can't. But every year, people hear about it, and they go, oh, I want to go do that. Yeah. So, Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah, yeah. Be sick. Ellen Seinfeld. Live. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, who's like that, the, like, the, like the fucking, who's that, the Indian guy? Russell Peters. Yeah. She like Seth the, Myers. Seth Myers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Seth Myers stand up? No. He's bad. He does his special. He uh, he performs his special in front of a group of like 19 people. So there are some times where the camera will slip and show the empty empty audience. And then I think he adds a laugh track in. Well, why did he do that? Because uh, he's a silly bitch. Yeah, no one likes his shit, I think. He tried to sell out like a really weird uh, thing in mass and it didn't sell. And I'm like, you have a late night show on literally late night and you're not selling out like a community theater. His shit like, is su- super unfunny. People. I want to know what is, how he, what the game is. Because he does big, um, yeah, big uh, venues, big right? That I said in the five years my wife and I dated before we got married. It's Netflix. That's all the people that they're, that they're, that's in the room right mm-hmm. there. About 20 people. The longer you go, the more awkward it gets. When we were together for four years, we were trying to figure out what to do for my wife's birthday, and we decided to go to Europe, and she said, where do you think we should go? And I said, why don't we go to Prague? We've never been to Prague. I heard it's amazing. Let's go to Prague. And she said, we could do that, or we could go to Paris. I know we've been to Paris before, but we have such a nice time in Paris. I said, hey, it's your birthday. If you want to go to Paris, let's go to Paris. It's all really so relatable. Paris, and the yeah. first night in Paris, my wife is more miserable than I've ever seen her. And finally, I said, why are you so upset? So because of a gay man. I married a gay man. bringing you to Paris for your birthday. He is going to propose. <laughs> to which I said, did you fucking tell them about Prague? <laughs> There's 20 people in the room, and the laugh track's added. Isn't that awesome? That's so awesome. Yeah. The, the balls to add a laugh track to you. We should just add laugh yeah, tracks to should. ours. We should have, like, a laugh track playing out of our pockets. We, yeah, we should have a laugh track during the show. Holy shit, man. Nice. That's crazy. He's painful. He's, like, but, the most painful. But one. I want to know what the game is, because he's doing, like, pretty big venues. John Oliver. 
I don't think he could be actually selling that many tickets. So, like, what happens at these shows, you know? I think he, like, akins himself to, like, John Oliver and, like, yeah. all, like Nick uh, Mulaney, John Mulaney. And he's like, I do late night. I control. I'm like a big spider web weaver. Anyway. That wasn't even a joke. I don't even know. It was like a, it was an anecdote. Yeah. It's a pretty good anecdote. <laughs> Websites to plug. Uh, Lewisofskanks.com. Grab those Skankfest tickets on April 20th. Lewisofskanks.com. Uh, come, come to Skankfest. Come to Skankfest. It's worth it. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Bye, y'all. Peace. Oh,